Did you get stuck trying to do redirects with Cloudflare? That's all right, because in today's video, we are gonna do exactly that. How to 301 redirect using Cloudflare's DNS and page rules, AKA URL forwarding. Let's get to it. On the left side here, I have the SOP, and on the right side here, I have the Cloudflare E. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click run SOP and put in the name of the website that you're working on if you wanna follow along this way. Up here in the readme, I basically have the full article and then the steps are down here below the start. And I also have a link to the full article right here in case you want it. So we'll follow along with this. We'll flip back and forth. We'll have a lot of fun, right? Obviously the video that I'm filming right now is gonna go there, so just forget about it. So table of contents, a bunch of stuff here, and then step one, right? Step one is you gotta add your domain to Cloudflare first. So probably you've already done this. And if you have, you can skip the first two steps. But obviously if you haven't done it already, you gotta go here, click add site, and put in your domain, whatever, that you're gonna use and click add. All right, mine is actually already in here and the one I'm gonna use for the, okay. <laughs> the one I'm gonna use for the demonstration is this one. Cool. So, what you're gonna do in this case is click add site, plop it in there and click add. Obviously I've already done that. The next thing you're gonna do is you need to update your name servers at the registrar where you purchase the domain. So if that sounds like Chinese to you, well then you obviously don't know what Chinese sounds like and don't worry about it. Wherever it is that you bought your domain, that's your domain registrar, where it lives, where you log in to find it. You have to go there and you have to click edit settings name servers and put in the stuff the Cloudflare gives you after you click add site. It's pretty simple. I would assume though, if you're watching this video that you're already ready for step three. So assuming you have your stuff in Cloudflare already, what you're gonna do is go to the domain. So you can search for it from pretty much anywhere, I guess. There, and once you're at the domain area, this is where the process really starts. So. The first thing you need to do is update Cloudflare's DNS. So click on DNS, and then here you have the records. And it's probably gonna come in with a bunch of other records in there, like you can see in the screenshot in the article. Mine imported with all the previous records, and I don't need them. If you need your records, don't delete them, but I needed to delete them. So I went through and deleted them. Unfortunately, there's no way to bulk redirect, uh, sorry, bulk delete Cloudflare records unless you use the API or some other thing like that. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna click add record and you're gonna choose a record right there. You're gonna put the at symbol, also known as, I forget. And then you're gonna paste, or you're gonna put in the IP 120.0. I forget, it's in the SOP though. So let's see, add your domain to Cloudflare. We technically already did that. Those are the steps one and two. Uh, let's see, A at 192.0.2.1. So you're gonna fill it out like that and click save. Once you've done that, it'll save one of your records. And then you wanna add the second DNS record. So you're gonna click add record again. This time you're gonna choose the drop down and go to C name. Sorry, you probably can't see that, but if I zoom out, then you definitely can't see that. Anyways, type C name. And this time in the name field, you're gonna put www. And in the target, you're gonna put that at thing. And then you're gonna click save. And when you do that, you're gonna have these two records here. It'll say a record. It'll say the name of your domain, whatever you're working with. Then under content, it'll say 192.0.2.1. Then you'll have a C name for www that points to the domain. So it should look like that. All right, we've done that. Now it's time to set up page rules, and then you're done. So you're gonna come over here on the left, click on the rules dropdown, and you're gonna click page rules. And I already have them set up, but I'll just do it again for funsies, because you guys are here. What's up, guys? So click on page rules, and then right here you see you have three fields. You have a URL field. Well, you don't have three fields yet, but you're gonna, maybe even four. You have the URL field and then you have the settings field. So what we're gonna do is first I copy everything after the dot. So that's the root domain dot TLD forward slash star, which means match the domain and any other inner URLs. 
because I want, if anybody goes to the main site, I want them redirected to this place. And if they go to any of the inner URLs or previous URLs, I also want them to get redirected to this place. So it's just a blanket catch-all redirect. Under this one, sorry, under the second dropdown, you're gonna choose URL forwarding. You're gonna choose forwarding URL. And that's when you get those other fields I promised you earlier. Click 301 redirect, unless you're doing a 302, which you probably aren't even watching this video if you know how to do that, because you're advanced, so whatever. And then the destination, choose where you want it to go. I completely forgot where I was gonna send this, and I totally deleted my record, so let me just go over here and figure it out. Oh yeah, cool. So I'm just gonna send it here. So I paste in the exact URL of where I wanna send it to. And then you'll click Save and Deploy. So you've done one. You followed all the steps down here. And as the article says, after you've done the first one, right, we just followed these steps. After you've done the first one, you're just going to do it again, except this time for the www dot version. So click on Create Page Rule. And then this time we're going to copy everything, including the www dot. The setting is going to be, uh, sorry, forwarding URL again, status code 301, and the destination is going to be, in my case, the same place, because I want any traffic that comes from www dot or any traffic that comes straight to the root and all the inner URLs to go to the same place. If you want these to go to different places, you can just add more page rules and don't use the star. If you wanted if you had a, you know, a page on your website called like, I don't know, how to poop standing up, and you wanted that to redirect to a specific place, you could enter that URL and then put, you know, send people to the how to poop standing up article on your new site, which if you haven't learned your lesson yet, people don't want to read that article, they just want to poop. So make a video. But that's how you do it. You put URL here, where it's coming to, and where you want it to go. I have I don't have that article, so I'm, I'm going to erase that. I'm just going to put in this and send everything there. Save and deploy. You're done. That's it. So as long as you have uh, waited long enough for the propagation, it's in the article. Check it out. As long as you've waited enough for the propagation to, uh, you know, be finished, then it should be pretty much ready to go. Cloudflare is almost instant. Let's just find out how instant it is. So open up a new incognito window with shift command N. If you're on Windows, figure it out. Put your thing in there and bang. 301 redirects. Let's check what happens if somebody goes to your how to poop standing up article because I said that I'd redirect all traffic from everywhere, didn't I? And it looks like I do. So. There you go. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments because there's no questions section. So you have to ask questions in the comments. All right, we're done here. Peace out. Happy 301ing.